Hey guys, how's it going? Long time no see. I've been a little bit busy, but back now, back to making videos. So I want to make a video on Gorilla LLM. I first heard about this from the CEO Vercel. He posted on Twitter that he was super excited about this project, along with OpenAI releasing functions. So I, so I decided to take a look at the repo and kind of check out what's going on here. So you can find this on GitHub. It's got 4.4 thousand stars already. It's only been released for like a month or two, two months it looks like. So the point of Gorilla LLM is to be able to better write APIs using LLMs. And so the way it worked is this, this project was made at Berkeley. And what they did is they scraped a bunch of the API and models from Hugging Face TensorFlow Hub and PyTorch Hub, and they basically use that scraped data to train an open source model to be able to better write APIs. And so like, weirdly, a lot of the examples are, is this LLM running other, AP, writing APIs for other AI, AI LLMs, which is kind of weird to think about. So let me go into more about the architecture first. So it's in the paper, the corresponding paper that they published. So they scraped a bunch of data from from torch hub from tensorflow hub and some examples from hugging face so like some of these examples might include turning speech into text or turning sorry turning text into speech translating between languages object identification like all of those sort of apis on hugging face and all those models on like on torch hub they just took all of that and they put it inside of a database so in order to train the model, they created instruction sets, basically like a prompt and a result using GPT-4. And that's how they trained the Gorilla LLM. And the Gorilla, Gorilla LLM underneath the hood, they say in the paper it's Llama, but I think they've changed it to Falcon so that it can be commercially used. So you can check the Discord. They have a Discord as well for more information on that. But you'll see in the examples that we go into in a minute, they're all basically like the mosaic models which again are commercially usable. And then to actually use Gorilla LLM, you, add, you give it a prompt. Like they say in this example, I wanna see some cats dancing in celebration. The information is retrieved from this database of scraped data, and then it comes up with the prompt, and then it comes up with the API, that's where the Gorilla part comes in, and then that's the results. For the results, you actually have to basically copy and paste the API into like, another notebook or into your code editor for it to actually work, but it will get you this far. And so, yeah, that's kind of how the architecture works. Let me actually go through the notebook that they gave us. And so the notebook has a couple of different examples. You can see again that, let's see, let's just scroll down. Yeah, again, UC Berkeley, it's free to use, by the way, you don't need any API keys or anything. And I'll include a link to this in the description. Basically, you're to run it, you just need to click this. And they've given us some examples to run. Uh, so not all of the examples work out of the box. I think it does have a, some, some issues. It's not 100% perfect, but the results are actually pretty impressive. So the first example they have is a translation example, basically turning English into Chinese. I've changed it to Spanish because I can't understand Chinese. So I've run this. Let's just run it again and see what it comes up with. I've already run it here but let's just run it again and hopefully i won't need to install the dependencies again because it's been a minute so let's just wait for that to run okay cool so this is what it gave us and let me see this looks about right based on other th other examples that i've run so what it does is it will tell you the domain of the question you asked the question we asked was i would like to translate i feel very good today from english to spanish it's natural language processing translation API called translation pipeline, pipeline translation into romance. This is just the name of a model that it's using from a Hugging Face Transformers. Again, it scraped a bunch of that data from Hugging Face. So this is the explanation of how it works. Import the pipeline function from the Hugging Face Transformers library. Create a translation pipeline with this model. This model is capable of translating English to various romance languages. Translate the given English text to Spanish using the translation pipeline. Okay, and so this looks good. So let's go ahead and copy this and run it. But this is the actual part that we need. And again, I just got most of this from Hugging Face. So 
I've already actually put this in here. So this is from Chinese. Let me erase this. Put this in here. We need to install transformers. We probably don't need the rest of these dependencies, but we do need transformers because we're for we're, we're using that for for mugging face. So let's let that download and let's run this. And then the expected result is this should be translated to Spanish. I feel very good today. And so I'll just fast forward till this is done downloading, and I'll share my notebook with you as well. This thing. So I'll just fast forward till this is done. Okay, cool. So this is done now. It's done downloading. Let's go ahead and run this and again. We copied and pasted this from their notebook. So let's see what happens. Hopefully this works. It's getting the transformers. And I'll fast forward it again. Okay, it's downloading a bunch of stuff. Okay, cool. So let me just fast forward to this part. We're printing the response and it says, Oye me siento muy bien. So today I feel very good. Okay, yeah, that's exactly right. So this all worked. And so this was completely produced by the LM. We just basically copied and pasted it. So that's awesome. Let's go back here and let's just run one more example that I think is a little bit more complicated. So this example number two, object detection. So I had a bunch of issues with this. I did end up getting it to run. So let me just fast forward and show you the code it gave me and then what I had to do to edit it to get it to work. So whenever I ran the code, it gave me all of this, right? But then it just stopped. It didn't give me like, more code that they actually needed. So I went to GPT-4 and just copied and pasted this. And I was like, can you give me the rest of the code to get this object detection pipeline to work? And surprisingly it did. It just, it just, it just printed out the rest of this, which is basically, which is basically loading in an image of a cat on a couch with a remote. It's this image. And we are <clears throat> running this code to basically get what are the objects in here. So that's basically half generated from Gorilla LLM and half generated with the GPT-4. Now, to talk about some do downsides real quick, and by the way, this is the, this is the result that was printed, remote, bed, couch, cat, and it's gonna print this like 100 times. So you can see that's right. And so to talk about some downsides real quick, it doesn't always work. It's a probabilistic thing. It depends on the quality of the data, and. I'm not sure if like some of the data that's like scraped from Hugging Face is the best because you know can have some code that's out of date or deprecated or missing pieces. So there's some issues there for sure. And in the paper they say this outperforms GPT-4. Maybe that's true, but I think it works better if you use it in concert with GPT-4 and then you'll get really good results. And if you go through this notebook, they have a couple of more examples. Again, like the results are like, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, it's probabilistic. But overall, very cool project. I'm super excited to see where it goes. You can join the Discord. And I think, you know, instead of just like AI APIs, I think it should, you know, be, be brought into all sorts of APIs like Twilio and basically any type of API, as long as you have the documentation stored somewhere that they can retrieve the that data from so yeah super cool project check it out i'll put the links in the description thanks